Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some items that I picked up for spring. And these are from H&M and Zara. So I did a shopping haul with both of them. Um, a lot of these items I kinda of had in my mind that I wanted to be versatile enough that if we aren't able to leave our house in a few weeks that you could still wear these and be comfortable in your house. But also if um, hopefully things turn around quickly, fingers crossed, um, we can leave our house and you can wear this stuff out and about and when you're ready to go see your friends again. I was going to do them separately like an H&M one and a Zara one. I'm a little concerned it might be kind of long if it's together, but I just figured if I'm going to shoot it, I might as well shoot all of them at one time. Um, because I did just finish working and I want to go have a glass of wine with my husband So I'm just gonna get it all done at one video So if you're interested in seeing what I'm picking up for the spring um, Also items that you can wear in your house then stay tuned. Okay, so let's start with H&M I'm just gonna stand up. Hold on. Okay, sorry I felt like I needed to stand up because sitting down and like pulling things out of boxes just felt weird We'll start with H&M and I went through their site. I did pull some things out already and kind of go through them because I was really excited about some of these things. Most of them were not unpacked yet, so you can see me unpack them as we go. But the first thing that I already pulled out was this really cute sweater. And yes, I realize you don't really need sweaters in the spring, but I don't know about you guys. My husband keeps it super cold in the house, so when I'm inside, I need some sort of like cardigan or just sweater in general just to throw on and I feel like a cardigan is easier than having to do one that like pulls over your head so I just picked up this one and it's nice and fluffy and the sleeves are oversized which I really love so yeah I mean not much more I can say about this other than it is super soft and like oversized so I'm a fan of this okay so the next thing I picked up from H&M is this chain necklace and I've been looking for a necklace similar to this and this one's actually a pretty good quality and it was exactly what I was looking for so I'm excited to wear this, but I feel like layered chain necklaces like this have been really big lately. And H&M had a good selection for a very good price, so just picked that up also. Oh, okay, I'm excited to show you guys this. So this is a t-shirt, but it has shoulder pads. Um, I don't know if you've been seeing um, lately, I actually have one as well, but it's the shoulder pad t-shirt from the Frankie Shop. I think that's the brand that made it popular but now you can see shoulder pad t-shirts pretty much everywhere i saw them on nasty gal the other day too but h&m has one and it's just a shoulder pad t-shirt i got it in black so i already have the frankie shop one in white and the difference between this one and the frankie shop one is the, sh the sleeve is a little bit longer but what's cool is you can actually like tuck it under to make it look more like a shoulder pad so i thought this could be really versatile for summer and i got it in black because you know black and white is the norm these days okay so i just unpackaged about four tank tops that i just picked up um i'll just quickly show them to you but i like i said have been really focused on buying stuff that you can wear in the house and for me when i'm working from home or when i'm just around the house i like to have like a basic kind of top that's like tucked into some like oversized comfy pants so i picked up four different tank tops that i could do that with and of course a tank top so that's like perfect for spring but this one I thought was really cool because it's like this ribbed knit material and it had these really cool button details in the front I just felt like it looked like a quality tank top like one that's um, it just looks like you invest a little bit more so I just thought this tank top was really cute so I picked this one up I also picked up a this is the one I was the most excited about if I'm being honest it's another rib knit tank, but it has like the um, the detail, like it goes in a little bit more at the shoulder area. And what I liked about it is how big the rib is. So if you can see, like it's kind of almost like a detail that they have on it, but it's like this detail looks really cool. And so this is one of my favorite ones. And of course this color I've been so into lately, it's just like a beige type of color. So this one I'm the most excited about, if I'm being honest. The next one I picked up is just this mock neck sleeveless bodysuit in white. Um, I can never have enough white little bodysuits because I feel like white just looks good on everyone's complexion. You can pair it with anything, so I always go for like a white bodysuit. And then the last tank top that I got was this other rib knit in this like beige, almost like brown tan with like a hint of red color. I feel like I just made that color up. but another rib knit tank that you can tuck into some oversized pants or later um, when you get to leave the house and I say jeans but you can wear jeans in the house too so I just feel like any of these tops you can tuck into your comfy pants or you can tuck them into jeans or a skirt or something later 
down the road when you get to leave the house. So the next thing that I got from H&M, which I was also really excited about, these almost sold out in my size, so I hope that they haven't sold out yet so that you can get yourself a pair. But it's these like lightweight, white, it's like an off-white little like slacks and they're really lightweight like they're like a linen-y material and the reason I went for these and I was so excited about these is pants like these are perfect for work from home out like work from home looks or just in general like being comfy but wanting to look more dressed up I feel like this is such a good option for that so of course I picked up these and I've been on a light like white kick so I've been wearing a lot of like lighter colors obviously I'm wearing all black today um, but I just really liked the color of these pants. So I picked up another sweater. Surprise, surprise. You guys know I love my sweaters like more than anything. This is the next one and it's kind of like the, um, this ring, but like ring zip half zip. I can't even speak today. It's been a long day doing pretty much the same thing I do every day, but, um, it's this like tan neutral color. I've been into warm tones a lot lately, but I've really liked this color. It's a little bit oversized in the like sleeve area. And I thought it would be really cute just honestly over anything and you can kind of tuck it up to make it look cropped. Um, just a good go-to sweater to be honest. And last but not least from H&M, I've got a pair of fluffy slippers. I have been, I have a pair, I have one pair of slippers and I kind of don't like love them anymore. So I was like I need to find a pair of slippers that I love and I saw that they had these on H&M and I was like I might as well try them out. I've never had white slippers so I'm a little worried on if it's gonna like show footprints like on the inside but I thought they looked really cool and like I said I've been in a lot of like a light tone kick like a lot of whites and I figured if I'm wearing all white might as well throw in a little white slipper as well why not these are really cute okay so that was it from H&M I'm gonna move on to Zara this came in two packages I don't really know why also does anyone else feel weird like touching packages that other people have been touching or is that just me I got a package from a brand that I work with over in China. I got it like two days ago and I it's still out on the porch. I'm nervous to bring it in. It's not anything against China, I'm just like it's been across and touched so many people and like you just never know. Alright, so for Zara, I kind of stuck to more like basics. I mean, I guess I kind of stuck to basics too with H&M also, but I feel like I've been on a basic train in general because you can mix and match it with pretty much anything. So when I was shopping on Zara, I was just trying to see like what can I get the most use out of these items. Um, there is one item that I'm excited about that's, um, I guess it is still basic too. Let me just show you. Okay, so the first item, again, going with the what can I tuck into my oversized pants train, um, is this like, it's kind of like a slinky material, um, just like basic top, and it had a really cool neckline. Like you can't really tell when I'm holding it up, but when I try it on, I'll show you. It has a cool neckline. It's not quite a mock neck turtleneck. It has like a weird, or just not a weird, just it's interesting if that, I feel like I'm not making sense. I need to stop talking. What I'm trying to say is it has a really cool neckline and it's also one that you can tuck in. And this is like a lightweight, like stretchy material. So I feel like it would be good even if it's like super hot out. Um, or you can just layer it up if you're inside the house like most of us. Okay, so this next piece is really interesting. It was cool when I saw it on the model, but basically it's like this black crop top and it has this cutout, like an interesting little detail cutout in the shoulder area. I just thought it looked really cool. I wanted to wear it with my oversized, like wide leg black pants because I thought that would be really cool. Or even with like jeans, high-waisted jeans would be cool too. The next item is this rib knit midi skirt. I filmed another video recently, which I don't know if I'm going to be posting before or after this one, but basically what I'm trying to say is like for work from home style, you want to be very comfortable, but sometimes you want to feel like you, I don't know, like dressed up a little bit more, feel more put together. And in order to feel comfortable and put together, a midi skirt that is like stretchy, like ribbed knit material is a perfect way to do that. So you could pair these midi skirts with tank tops, t-shirts, sweaters, if it's cold in your house, whatever it is. Like I feel like... It looks like you've tried a little bit, but it's still so comfortable. So I wanted to pick up a white one because I already have a black one. So there we go. So this was one that I was really excited to share with you guys. It's just a sleeveless, like white blazer. Um, and it's 
technically not a dress, I don't think, but it's probably long enough on me to be a dress. Probably long enough on most people to be a dress. But I thought this would be really cute for like Easter, even though I don't think we're doing anything for Easter this, this year. Um, I just thought it was like a cute white like put together. You can also layer this with other items underneath. Um, you can leave it open. You can close it up with this belt. I actually got another belt, which let me pull that out. This like white, it's like an off-white, just cool little waist belt. Um, I wanted to put it with this like white blazer. I thought it would be really cool. So I picked that up from Zara. I also don't have a belt like this in a lighter color and I just feel like it'd be really a really good um, accessory to, to use in spring. So I like this belt a lot. So I forgot that I ordered these too. These are kind of similar to the H&M pants that I just showed you, but no, they're a little different. They are um, like wide leg trousers so they go a little bit longer than the other ones they're not ankle they're the ones that go all the way to the ground and what's great for me because i'm so short is i can even for the most part i haven't tried these on yet but i can pretty much wear long pants like this with really long heels so it'll make my legs look longer which is what i love to do if you guys haven't seen my instagram i'm constantly trying to wear pants that are longer than my like leg length and just adding heels and it just makes me look way taller. I picked these up mainly because I felt like it would be a good something to just throw on with like a tank top if you were just out and about like even at the lake if you wanted to just go to a quick dinner you could just throw in like a white um, tank top with these and then some flip flops or if you want to put heels on it look really good with heels but these just seem like a really relaxed pair if you can't tell they're a little bit like lighter and thinner. So they don't feel as formal as like some slacks do so that's why I went for these ones because I feel like you just want to be comfortable and like it, some wearing something that's like breathable in the summer so I thought these were a good good pair for that last but not least I picked up these um, they're called like padded sandals from Zara I needed a pair of um, just like go-to slides for the summer um, and of course I went with black because I just feel like black is easy and goes with everything but I love that they had the rounded toe, and I did love the feature of like the padding right here. It just looks a little bit like fluffy. So I went for these ones. This, I feel like they're gonna be like my go to like slip on and go slides for the summer. Okay, guys, so that was it. I tried to make it quick and to the point, so hopefully, you guys got what you needed from that. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. So if you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up below. And if you enjoy this video or any videos that I make, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really does mean so much to me when you guys subscribe and just engage with me. I love getting to know people like through social media. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, just write a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back with you. And I don't really know what else to say. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. And I guess I will see you guys on our next video. I feel like no video will be complete without a hub's debut. Oh, do you see something outside?